What's up, YouTube? It's Connor here. How are you guys doing on this wonderful Sunday morning? About to head off to church in a little bit, so I'm making this commentary right now, right before it. And I was playing some Domination on Outpost with a subscriber. And I don't really remember his name right now, but I'll remember it later. And so this is going to be the episode 3. Technically episode 2 because episode 1 was just an introduction. But episode 3 of my It Is Written series. And today we are going to be talking about forgiveness. Which is something no one really wants to do, right? Your brother hits you, you just want to hit him right back square in the jaw. Right in the kisser. And get them back harder than they did you. That sounds weird. <laughs> um, you want to uh, get some revenge or whatnot. But revenge never lands you anywhere except in jail. Or just <laughs> just not good places, really, guys. I mean, all those people that um, they go out there and they shoot someone. Or like just in the paper today, a couple days ago. Not today. <laughs> I haven't even looked at the paper today. But in the news, I guess, actually is where I saw it on the news. But there's some dude that... Um, he was mad at his girlfriend for, like, cheating on him with another guy or something. So she broke up with him and whatnot. And when she came back to get her dog, the dude was waiting for her with a freaking shotgun and shot her right in the face and ended up killing her and this other person she was with to come get her dog or something. Just stupid. Yeah, it's just stupid. The guy was just mad at what she did. Pulled out a shotgun. Was like, heck, yeah, it's like playing Call of Duty. Shot her in the face. Ended up posting on Facebook saying, uh... Come to this address, whatever it was, and there will be three people dead. And they came, and he had shot himself, and they were all dead just laying there. So, guys, revenge, not a good thing. So, forgiveness is kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's not, not something you normally want to do, but you got to do it, guys. You got to forgive and forget like they said. But um, you the thing is, actually, the catch here is, if they do not say sorry, if they are not sincerely sorry, you God says you don't actually, you don't have to forgive them. If they say sorry, you have to forgive them. Like he says, um, Peter asks him, I think it's Peter, he goes, Jesus, yeah, Peter said, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Is it seven times? And Jesus goes, no, up to 77 times. And he's basically saying, if someone keeps sinning against you constantly every single day, they are truly and sincerely sorry. Come back, say sorry, like with all their heart or whatever, and they actually mean it. You have to forgive them every single time they do that. Now, if they don't say sorry, if someone comes, hits you in the nose, right in the kisser, and you don't, and they don't say sorry about it or whatever, you don't have to forgive them, but you should not hold it against them. Do not hold a grudge. A grudge is never, never a good idea to hold. It'll only hurt you inside, end up making you do a stupid decision eventually. You might end up go beating the living crap out of that kid. But instead of holding your grudge against him, pray for him. Just ask God to help change him or change his heart or whatever, dude. You don't have to go back. You don't have to go back and get him. That's what, I mean, when you see, like, stupid fights that start just over some kid hitting somebody over the dumbest reasons ever something that he might be holding against him and the other kid just he just responds and just goes after the kid and can end up obliterating him and they can end up accidentally like seriously hurting someone just over just stupidness basically i mean just forget them forget about what they did who cares it was in the past whatever it does now will not affect you can cannot and will not affect you in a positive way it can only go downhill from there there's nothing good can come out of revenge or grudges that you have built up against you and God also says, he says, if you forgive those people, if you forgive people that sin against you when they ask for forgiveness, he will also forgive you when you ask for forgiveness. If you don't, if you're not going to go around forgiving anybody, why should anybody, especially God, forgive you? Why should anybody say sorry to you if you don't go out there and say, uh, why, or why should anybody forgive you when you say sorry if you don't forgive anybody when they say sorry? If someone accidentally, I don't know, stole your ho-ho at lunch or something stupid, I don't know, that was stupid, but... If someone stole your food or something and you're just like, and they come back the next day and they're like, dude, I'm really sorry. I feel super bad about that. I shouldn't have done that. Whatever, yada, yada. I, I feel really bad. I'm really sorry. And you're like, no, screw you. Forget whatever you have to say. I'm not forgiving you. That was retarded. And you just hold it against them. Don't forgive them, guys. Then what, what happens when you do something to them that you all of a sudden you think, Oh crap, I really shouldn't have done that. Like, you take his favorite pencil or something at school, and he really wants that pencil back, but you won't give it back. 
but then you finally give it back, I mean, and you're just like, here, man, I'm really sorry, I shouldn't have taken this, and, and he just, he's like, no, whatever, and he starts, uh, he doesn't forgive you, and he beats you upside the head with the pencil once you give it back, or he stabs you square in the eye, yeah, because you did, <laughs> that probably won't happen, but that's a, that's just what could happen if you don't forgive them. If you don't say, you know, if you don't say, well, you know what, I'm sorry to them first. And then when they come back and then you actually ask for forgiveness from them and they're just like, no, who cares? Screw you. And then, um, ah, oh, dang it. What was I going to say? Anyways, when, ah, dang, I can't remember what I was going to say. But when you forget, uh, forgiveness just, it just, oh, yes, I remember, I remember. Um, if you, like, as I was saying, if they don't say sorry, you don't have to go forgive them. If someone hits you in the nose and they never say sorry about it, you don't actually have to physically walk over there and go, hey, man, I forgive you for hitting me in the nose yesterday. The kid will just be like, Psh, I didn't say sorry. I don't want you to forgive me. I could care less. You don't have to do that. You should forget about it, guys. That forgive and forget part, you know, everybody's heard that forgive and forget. That, that holds true when someone actually does something wrong against you, but when they're just like, but... Just, just remember the forget part. If someone does something, doesn't, um, uh, and doesn't ask forgiveness for something, like someone might, like maybe your parents abused you as a kid or whatever. That's a huge example right there. That's really out there. But, and they never asked for forgiveness or anything. You should forget about it though. Don't hold that up against your parents. Don't let that build up inside you. That anger and that hatred. That'll do nothing but tear you apart, guys. Do nothing but tear you apart. And I know it can be awkward to ask for forgiveness, especially from parents. If I had more time, I'd tell you a sweet action story about when I had to ask for forgiveness from Brian because I was supposed to be at his house at midnight. Yeah, I didn't get there till 1. Uh, his parents were freaking out. They're like, where's Connor? Where's Connor? I was like, dude, oops. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, it was awkward saying sorry, but it happened. Makes you feel better. So, tell me some sweet action stories about forgiveness in the comments, and I'll see you guys when I see you. Later.